Hello my fellow Yarnians, it's Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits and today I received my secret Santa gift. Oh, I'm so excited to open it. But first, let me say Happy New Year's to you. You, 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 you. Cheers from the Queen Bee. <laughs> I love this this glass. I got purchased this glass at the dollar store a couple years ago. I got one for me and one for my mother-in-law. She absolutely absolutely loves it. And uh mm, I got some strawberry wine with some frozen raspberries, my favorite. And seeing how it's New Year's, I may even have two, maybe three glasses of this stuff. Like Anyways, moving on. I got my secret Santa gift. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's open this sucker. Oh my god, this looks so gorgeous. First, we've got... Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I need, a, I need a leather opener. I'm horrible. <laughs> okay, so enjoy a very happy new year. Oh, look at this card, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. It says, Have a very Merry Christmas, too, of, co of course. Dear Kim, I was so happy to get you for Secret Santa for charity. As a fellow spinner, I immediately knew what to send you. I hope you enjoy the goodies and that your health will be so much better in the new year. Hugs, Kath from Kath's Eye Catchers. She makes some amazing items. You guys have got to go over and check out Kath's Eye Catchers. That's Kath, C-A-T-H, like Catherine, but short form. So Kath's Eye Catchers, Catherine Noel is her name. And oh my goodness, she makes some of the most amazing crocheted items, stitch markers. Actually, I was going through her Instagram, doing a little bit of uh, snooping. <laughs> and she had ordered, she has the same um, little charms that I had ordered from Wish. They're Santa Claus and just a bunch of like little uh, charms to do with Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, I have the same ones. I was actually making stitch markers last night with them. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little look-see. Look at how she has this package. Like, OMG. Oh my God. Okay, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I am going to start here with the fabric. Oh my goodness. Uh, Bayardine AC. I don't know if that's the name. Special coloring technique repeating pattern um, is an AC fiber for perfect imitation of wool. Perfect for spinning, tufting, needle punch, etc. Uh, wash machine washing machine resistant brilliant coloring and fiber structure i've never um okay let's just open it up <laughs> if i can i probably should have brought oh, here we go. oh my goodness oh my goodness oh this is gorgeous how much of it is here oh my goodness look at this orange it's actually more of like a red it's showing up really orange on here but it's actually more of like a I don't know if I can get it to actually show it's showing up really really bright on here but oh my goodness oh that feels beautiful oh that fiber feels just gorgeous oh I can't wait to get this on my uh Actually, I might even do this on my drop spindle. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so that's number one. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like a burnt, it looks really bright orange here, but it's actually like a burnt orange with like a light tangerine color running through it with 
a ruby red in there too, like right here. That's more of like a red showing up orange there, but oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Reminds me of a sunset, to be honest. Beautiful sunset would look nice in a beautiful shawl. Okay, so next I see this little guy here. I've never seen this before. It's called Mini Blends. Allison and May. I've never, never heard of that. I don't know if I can get this to focus. No, it's not going to focus because it just won't because I want it to. But oh my goodness, this is a beautiful color. I'm pretty sure it's cotton, but I could be wrong. Um, oh yeah, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. So half and half, which makes a beautiful washcloth actually. So there's that. Oh, look at the color. She, she has nailed this. And look, pinks and grays. Oh my, oh my word. Oh my word. Okay, how much is in one of these little suckers? 53 grams, 84 meters. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for these. And she's got this beautiful angel hair that I'm going to keep <laughs> because I could probably reuse that. Always got to talk about reusing. Okay, and these are just amazing. So cute. Look at these little gift boxes. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's open this up oh my word I could probably reuse these too I hope you don't mind <laughs> ah yes oh my god yes I see gorgeous look at these this is too funny I just got done making a bunch of the same but at least I don't have to make these and she's got little beautiful beads oh my goodness you guys Look at this little, there's a little mitten, a little apple, oh my god, a little wreath, I love it, oh look at the little, <laughs> look at the little, the little frosty, oh these are so amazing, and these will come in such good use. These are probably my favorite hook or latches to use are the ones that she used here. They're like an earring. These are so easy to use to open and close. I find the little lobster clasps sometimes are more of a, a pain in the butt than... Uh, I just love that little box. <laughs> that is so cute. Love it. Then there is one more. Wow, she really outdid herself oh my god isn't this gorgeous look at this these little little boxes i love it i love handmade though i'm all about the handmade Ooh, i can't get this one open i did a knot nah, i'll just slide it out the side here <laughs> improvise improvise oh my goodness these are so cute Ooh. Oh, I don't have these. Oh, are these for the Christmas tree? Oh, they're hooks. Oh, oh. Throwing things around here. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a lock and key. Oh my goodness, I love it. And look, she's actually made like a little ornament for a tree. What a good idea. It's focusing on my face. I don't want it to. I want it to focus here. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. And there's, and here's the second one. Oh, I just, this is the greatest idea ever. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is an amazing gift. And I am just in love with it all. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to save these right here so that I can take pictures and post them to my Instagram because this is just gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, Catherine. Thank you. You are amazing. And this gift was perfect. Perfect, perfect. Couldn't have got any more perfect. 
And this, my dear, kudos, kudos to you. This is gorgeous. I could just eat it. Oh, my God. It doesn't, oh, okay, it doesn't smell gorgeous, but it's fiber. <laughs> Some people actually like that smell, but it's not actually wool. I don't think so. Wasn't it an imitation kind of like? I don't know, but it is so beautiful, and I'm very, very grateful to you. And I will leave your link for your channel down below. So if you haven't checked out uh, Calf's Eye Catchers, you need to go over and check her out. Also, she's on Instagram. And I don't know Facebook. I didn't check there. But I know I have her on here on YouTube and on and Instagram. So, yes. That was for Secret Santa for Charity 2020 that Reggie from... Uh, J hook crochet and more was holding this year. I still oh, I feel so bad. I have not got my gift out yet. Mine's going to be late. It's just the way things have been happening. Very, very sorry. I can't say who it is because it's a secret. So um, yeah, so if there's somebody out there that hasn't received their gift yet, it is coming and it will be worth the wait. Anyways, so that's all I've got for you guys. Um, until next time, we'll see you then. And Happy New Year to you.